Well, we begin tonight with a move by Colorado hospitals to better handle a growing number of unvaccinated COVID patients. So many people are being admitted that some hospitals risk being overwhelmed. More than 700 people are hospitalized with COVID right now in our state. That is the most since January, and that number still going up. Hospitals report nearly all of the patients are unvaccinated. Now, here's a look at where we stand right now on our vaccinations. Some of the top counties in the state are in the metro area. Boulder, Denver, Jefferson, Douglas, and Arapahoe counties are all in good shape, with more than 70% of the eligible population getting at least one dose. Weld, Mesa, Montrose, Delta, and Elbert counties have some of the lowest rates in the state. Only 48% of eligible people in Elbert have gotten a shot. Tori Mason has been looking into these issues that hospitals are facing right now. And Tori, the plan is to make sure that when one hospital runs out of room, there's another one that's able to take some patients. Yeah, Karen, it's apparent uh, this capacity, it doesn't take very long to change. Denver Health here, they had seven COVID patients two weeks ago. A week ago, they had 19. Measures are being taken to make sure anyone who needs care can get it. People are just, they're, they're just exhausted at this point. Colorado's ICU capacity is low compared to other states but some hospital staff are still working overtime. We have about 75 COVID positive patients, of which about 40 of those individuals are in our intensive care units. And so that's actually our highest ICU number uh, since the pandemic began. The Colorado Hospital Association reactivated its combined hospital transfer center for the first time since November. It helps facilitate moves between hospitals. That may be having a capacity issue or may just need to move a patient um, to a different level of care or a different type of care. CHA says it's a proactive step, but some hospitals, like Unger's, are already overfilled. All of our ICU capacity is completely at 100 plus percent at this point. What is 100 plus percent? We're looking for additional beds uh, throughout, the, throughout the house. So you're worried? I'm worried, yep. COVID patients are increasing dramatically compared to this time last year. With vaccinations available, doctors say they're exhausted by patients they never should have had. We are seeing our, our providers just feeling frustrated because this is preventable. So Unger says that uh, hospitalizations are typically higher during the summer months anyway. COVID patients are just an added stress on top of that. According to the latest data from CDPHG, the state's hospitalizations have reached their highest number since January. We're live in Denver, Tori Mason covering Colorado first. All right, Tori, thank you very much.